The treatment of metastatic thymic carcinoma is uh, challenging. Uh, first line usually rely on, on chemotherapy, cisplatin-based regimen, carboplatin paclitaxel or combination of adriamycin, cisplatin and cyclophosphamide. And in the second line setting, we have the choice of chemotherapy again, anti-angiogenic agents or immune checkpoint inhibitors, usually part of, of clinical trials. Uh, in this case report, uh, we uh, consider the use of chemotherapy combined with immunotherapy, uh, similar to what is done in metastatic lung cancer. And this was based on the histology of, of the tumor. It was not a standard uh, squamous cell thymic carcinoma. In those patients, it was non-squamous uh, thymic carcinoma. It was thymic adenocarcinoma. Uh, in, in those patients who were never smokers, the tumor was located in the mediastinum. Um, there was uh, a discussion Uh, regarding the diagnosis, uh, was this corresponding to lung adenocarcinoma or thymic uh, adenocarcinoma? Always difficult to know. There are some immunohistochemistries that may help. The expression of uh, CD117, uh, high expression of PDL1, is usually associated with uh, thymic origin of, of the tumor, but this may also, especially the high PDL1 expression observed in, in lung adenocarcinoma. So at the end, uh, we were uh, unclear with the diagnosis and we decided to treat those patients with uh, optimal uh, treatment, combining upfront chemotherapy and immunotherapy instead of uh, doing a sequential approach of chemo followed by immunotherapy. What is interesting is that in those patients, we had uh, no immune-related adverse events, which are observed with single-agent immunotherapy in thymic carcinoma in about 30% of, of the patients. And we had uh, some a signal for an efficacy. Always difficult to know whether it was related to chemo or IO or the combination of both. But uh, for us, it was important to publish those two cases because it, it may lead to develop a clinical trial dedicated to thymic carcinoma with a combination of chemo, possibly carboplatin, paclitaxel, and an NTPD1 agent.